Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat and this session we would look on how to compute the MPV and the IRR using Excel. This topics could be covered in an introduction to data analytics and accounting. Simply put a data analytics course, managerial accounting or an introduction to finance course. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,700 plus accounting, auditing, finance and tax lectures, as well as many Excel and CPA tutorial. This is a list of all the courses that I cover. Connect with me on Instagram. On my website, you, you'll find additional information, but if you like this recording, please like it, share it, subscribe, and you will find additional resources on my website if you want to supplement your CPA education, CMA, enrolled agent, or your accounting courses. I strongly suggest you check out my website. To illustrate these concepts, I'm gonna be using the following data. Now, keep in mind, I do explain in detail the net present value as well as the internal rate of return in my managerial and finance accounting on YouTube. However, I will give a quick overview as I'm performing these computations. So this is what we are looking at here. We have a project and it would require today an outflow of half a million dollars. So basically your initial investment is negative because think about it from an educational perspective. When you're going to school, first you put money, you invest money, then eventually you would earn your money later after you graduate. So basically at year zero, you have to invest a sum of money. And for our purposes, it's half a million. Then in year one, you're gonna earn back 165,000, in year two, 180,000, in year three, 164,000, in year four, 175,000. So those are the data that we are giving in this problem. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna compute the net present value in a sense manually to show you what we are doing. Then I will use the Excel formula because it's very important that you understand the concept. And what we are assuming here for this project is a hurdle rate or an, a, rate, a rate of return of 5%. So simply put, the company will have to earn at least 5%. That's their cost of capital. So how do we perform this computation using formulas, but not the Excel formula? Okay, so basically what we will do is first we would, we would uh, uh, put the equal sign and we want to discount this one half a million dollar at one plus the interest rate, which is 4%, raised to the period the period here is zero so basic simply put this is going to give us half a million today is worth half a million today into the future that's fine now the only thing i'm going to change here is i'm going to put the e1 the interest rate as a relative value this way it will carry on in the formula so i'll put the dollar sign around the around the number then i'm going to i'm going to grab and uh, grab the cell then scroll down and simply put what I did, I discounted this 165,000 a year from now at 5% and it's worth 157, 142,000, almost 143,000. I, I did the same thing for the other three values. What well, we find out that this project has a positive net present value of 106,000 and almost $50 and 50 cent. What does that mean? It means we, and in the, in the language of net present value, we will accept this project. But really we did not, we did not use our net present value formula. What I did is I, is I used regular formula. I kind of based on the time value of money and I discounted each payment, each payment separately. Now in Excel, there is a net present value formula that you, that you can utilize. So let me show you how you would utilize the net present value to compute this number a little bit more quicker, basically. And basically you'd have to put the equal sign to activate the cell. And the first thing you have to do is you have to select your net, your, your outflow, your, your initial outflow of cash, which happens to be B3. Then we're going to add to that the net present value, the NPV, which is the, which is the NPV. Notice the NPV. And let me just try to, yeah, NPV. And it's going to tell you if the first to put the rate, what is, what is our rate? Our rate is 5%. Select the, select the rate. And then you have to put the positive cash flow. The positive cash flow is a range between 165 and 175. Notice it's B4 to B7. So this is the formula. So this is the B3 is the initial cash outflow plus the net present value using the interest rate of 5% for the cash inflows. Click on next and notice the formula gives me exactly the same number and obviously i would accept the project whether i used manually the excel or if i use the net present value that's fine 
Now, what is the disadvantage of the net present value? The disadvantage of the net present value, it tells you that your project is acceptable based on a dollar amount. So it's, yes, it is acceptable. Why? Because it's above zero. That's fine. That's fine and dandy. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's above zero. So it's good. Now the question is, how much is this project really earning me? So how much is this project really earning me? I know I, all what I have to do is beat 5% because that's my interest rate. That's my hurdle. That's my cost of capital. Well, what we have to do is I have to compute my internal rate of return. And my internal rate of return, basically find the rate of return that's going to make the net present value equal to zero. So the IRR, the IRR, basically what it's looking for is when, when, when is the net present value equal to zero? At which rate? Here's why. If I increase this 6% to 7%, notice my net present value goes down. If I increase it to 8%, it goes down. If I increase it to 12%, oops, let me, let me, let me type 12. It keeps on going down. And when the net present value equal to zero, it tells me exactly how much this project is earning. Because right now, 5%, I know I can beat. It's a great project because it has a net present value. It's making then more than 5%. So I'm better off taking this project rather than investing my money at the bank. But the IRR tells me exactly what should I do. So how do I compute the IRR? Now I can play with this with a trial and balance. I can, for example, put 12. It's more than 12. Let me try 14. It's less than 14. Let me try 13.5. Oops, 13.5. Let me do. Let me just make sure this is goes to two decimal points. So this way, we see what we're looking at here. Uh, let's make it four decimal point. 13.5. Maybe let's try 13.75. So notice it's around 13.75. It's around 13. Point, let me try 8.5. No, that's way too much. 13.8. 13.76 let's stop right there it's around 13.76 but i don't have to keep on doing this you know changing the interest rate to find out when my when my pre net present value equal to zero let me go back and put the initial one which is five percent what i can do i already we already know it's around 13 point something what i can do is i can activate my formula for the irr using excel because that's the beauty of excel so i put irr open parentheses and what i do first is i select my cash outflow my cash outflow is half a million because this is the uh, this is the first value the value of cash flow then what i have to do and actually i'm sorry i don't i don't i don't select my cash flow i just have to put the range the inflow and the outflow here are the inflows and the outflows and i just have to guess put any number 1%, 2%, 3%, and it's going to come back with 13.76193. So this project is making 13.76193. Now I can test this, and we knew it's around that much, but if I put 13.76193, and it should give me an MPV of zero, and voila, it's an MPV of four pennies, zero. That's fine. So this is the IRR. So the the IRR tells you exactly what this project is earning because the MPV equal to zero. So it's earning around 13.7619. Not a bad return at all. So I hope you like this recording. And again, if you want to learn about NPV and IRR, go to my managerial accounting or to my finance accounting on my YouTube. And please check out my other recordings. Check out my website if you're an accounting student. I do have additional resources. Stay safe, study hard, especially during those coronavirus days. Good luck.